voyage of the late Joshua Clyde, the fishing boat Venus and the sum of £3,000 to be divided equally between the two sons, Anthony and David. And so it is agreed then that Anthony will take the boat and you, David, will receive the money. What a push! Take up the rock, go on! We are the champions! London? Line would you like this blanket? Oh, thank you. Foreign, are you? Ah, I thought so. Channel swimmer. You know, I was just wondering the way you were dressed. Please, do not go so far. Pardon? I do not want a policeman to stop us, me like this. 85 is too far. That's the temperature. Into a party then. I will beat my fiancé. Oh, yes. We were at this place together, Crossways. Crossways? The motel, Crossways Motel. Oh. For a moment, I thought you were going to say something quite different. It was not nice. I was just getting out of the bar, and I heard this shouting, swearing, banging, people beating each other. Someone broke in. The bike. Oh, dear. I jumped straight out of the window. Oh, I feel so dirty. You mean, you didn't know? He gave you the impression he was single? Impression? He gave me this. This engagement ring. The rotten devil. Here, you take it. Me? It's worth 50 pounds. I don't want a ring. I need clothes. What's your name? Martina. Martina Brander. What is the matter? Nothing. I was just thinking. What you gave me, see, was the continental size. Since the saleswoman bought it out, I thought Christmas. But then she explained to me, see, that over there in Germany you have a different system of bosom calculating. Is this yours, sir? You're not supposed to park here, you know. The young lady... Uh, she had an accident. Have you reported it, sir? Uh, not that kind of accident. Was this yours, the 60 glorious years? Friend, you, you ever seen an Albany before? Cars are not my line. More sexual offences. Where's your license? Oh, I only bought it yesterday. Thank you very much. You have been very nice. Goodbye. No, wait a moment. Mademoiselle, wait. A car line. Look, I've just got to go. I won't keep you a moment, sir. What up there? No, uh, Mrs. P.J. O'Flat. Oh, P.J. Yes. O'Flat. Hold it. Appreciate it, officer. You're ever in Baton Rouge. Come on, Lucy. Uh, Haven Hill, Hampstead. Number 47. What a small world it is. The nights I've spent doing stake-out duty at Haven Hill. Stake-out? Yeah. There's a resident flash on that. Exhibiting his frontal person. I tried to call him all last winter. What a pleasing job that was. Still, if you're not called over him, I suppose, come to think of it, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a lobster fisherman. A hamster? Exactly what happened to all the others. 
David Clyde. I'm looking for a room. I went to number 47, but they were full. We had a spare room. It's girls only here. Auntie won't let us have men. Will you, Auntie? Can you make... You can stay. Now the boy from Denmark, my sister did. They live in Copenhagen. But as soon as Anne got older, well, have you ever read about what goes on in Denmark? Well, only at school, um, Hamlet and all that. You never finishing her education in Hampstead. It's a responsibility. Mm, yes, it must be. Now look here, Mr. Clyde. There are five other young ladies living here. This is Donovan. Now you can depend on me. Sally's room, really, but she's an air hostess, so she's not here very often. It's nice. And it's got its own bathroom out there as well. This Sally, when will she be back? Doesn't matter what you call it. Aren't you supposed to be doing your homework or something? Miss Jones says all experienced teachers are something. You could teach me. Fishing. Well, do you know the first thing a fisherman has to learn about? Yes. Bait. thy servants, who thank thee for thy protection. Amen. 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 Mr. Clyde, have you met Jane? Store detective in Harridge's, our resident fuzz. And she's got the room right next to yours. So if you ever feel like laying down the law... That's all you ever think about, isn't it? Well, I'm going to put a boat on my door. There's absolutely no need. <laughs> no, no, what I meant to say was I... What do you do for a living, Mr. Clyde? Oh, I'm a lobster... Uh, I'm an ex-lobster fisherman. You like Penny, then. She's late again. She. Shut your mouth and eat. That's what I always ask. Know what my mother used to answer? If you insist on talking, why don't you be quiet? Why don't you, though? Mr. Clyde, what kind of job are you hoping to find? I don't know. Um, all I know about is lobsters. Well, that is a bit specialised. So I suppose it is. They are fascinating creatures, though, oh, in lots of ways. Well, any of you know how to tell a male lobster from a female lobster? I've never been that desperate. Well, uh, what you look for, Sid, is... Well, I, I suppose it isn't all that fascinating. Oh, yes, it is. I think it's great to be a specialist in something. So do I. Rachel, we shall have to think of something. Want to do some veya? Yeah, that's qualifications. Grain merchant. I got the part. Aren't you going to congratulate me? Yeah. Well, you're not Sally. She's in Rome. Yeah. My name's David Clyde. Are you Penny? Yes. How do you do? You're an actress, aren't you? Yes, I am. But I will only appear in the nude if it is artistically dictated by the emotional complexities of the character I portray. Why can I was a teenage virgin? Well, that never got down our way. In this new one, I'm a lady doctor who's torn between... I can understand that. Well, there was this barmaid in Lulworth Cove. 
anything the matter. How tall are you? I don't know. Um, five eleven, six foot. It's an inch or two. Ever done any acting? Acting? You've got the face. And you've certainly got the figure. Uh, what for? I'm just going to ring Big T. Oh, where's that? Well, he's the director and producer. And the scriptwriter, Jake Tripper. Didn't you ever see Pavement My Beat? Well, our cinema showed mainly John Wayne. I just call him right away. Oh, no, wait a moment, I'll just like to... Oh, oh, hello. you soon make yourself at home. Is the phone working yet? You have to use the one on the corner. Drat. You a drinking man, stranger. Oh, well, I have been known. Who wins Passover wine? Shatter bottled in beautiful downtown Golden Green. Mr. Clyde. Oh, uh, please. David. Oh. See progress already. David, we think we've got a job for you. What sort of a job? Ever done any selling? Well, only lobsters. Lobsters! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> well, what do you sell? Indispensable to every house-proud housewife, the newest advance in technological labour-saving aids. Ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than... Vacuum cleaner. Nancy's in charge of sales. I'm the secretary. So treat us right, and you might be wearing the white front. It's very kind of you. But I think Penny's trying to get me a... He's interested. Jake Tripper wants to talk to you. Give the little lady a drink. Look here. Speak to Jake Tripper himself. Not Jake Tripper himself. Jake Tripper himself. Will someone tell me what's going on? But I did. The leading man. I told him you'd be perfect. Couldn't. Why not? Well, I've never. It's daft. Look here. This can't be another job. I brought some fresh pillow slip. Oh, yes. Three girls and one man in the same bedroom. Never heard a foreplay. Not in this house, thank you. And a strong drink. Remember, Jake's waiting for your call. My favourite. Strong drink? What about leaving you two alone together? Out. In one life. Everyone's very friendly here. Excuse me, I'll go make a telephone call. 